Well, now every day, everybody says they're the victim of a witch hunt. It's about the only thing Republicans and Democrats can agree on is that witch hunts are happening. Of course, if you're a Republican, it's a witch hunt against Trump. If you're a Democrat, it's a witch hunt against Hunter Biden. Well, that's maybe one of the reasons Bill O'Reilly's new book, Killing the Witches, is so popular. I think now over a quarter million copies. Smart people would say well over 300,000 for sure by Christmas or New Year's. Bill is with us now. Bill, are we seeing parallels? Is that why this is popular, you think, going back to Salem to modern day America? Yeah, the witches are busy in 2023 going into 24. A lot of action on the witch front. So I wrote this book, Leland, because I could write any book I wanted. This is the 13th Killing Book, the most successful nonfiction book series of all time. And it's up to me to pick the subject. So I like to make my books relevant to people's lives. And the essence of the witch hunt in 1692 in Salem, Massachusetts was that the accusations by the 12 year old girls became convictions within two weeks. And you were guilty as soon as you were charged. You couldn't even defend yourself in the court. So if some idiot kid said that you tried to make her sign the devil's book, within two weeks you had a rope around your neck. 20 human beings killed, hundreds put into jail, hundreds. And many of those people died in the jails. And so now all accusations are convicted if you're famous or rich in America because the media will slap it on page one, all the internet sites will slap it on up there. And whether you're guilty or not, they don't care because they want clicks, they want readers, they want ratings. Same thing going on. Now, we're not hanging people, but we're destroying their lives. And we have in Killing the Witches, in the latter part of the book, regular folks, high school teacher, ESPN commentator, uh, whole lives were ruined on false accusations. We see it every single day. That's why the book has struck this chord. So in order to know what's going on today, you have to know how it all began in 1692. All right, history, uh, I guess if we don't learn the lessons from it, we're doomed to repeat it, uh, or some, some version of that quote. Uh, I think, though, about what we're seeing happen in America right now. It's one thing for false accusations against people to, to ruin them, but is there also something about trying to find someone to demonize? Is there something now about our, our culture that, that is so willing to find one side or the other side and demonize them? Sure, it's called weaponization. So the progressive movement found out about 10 years ago that what Saul Alinsky wrote in Rules for Radicals, basically the professor who's departed now, and thank God for that, he was a horrible human being. He basically said, you mandate, if you're on the far left, to destroy anybody who disagrees with you. And the easiest way to do that is to accuse them of the most heinous crime you can and then let them fight their way out of it because most of them don't have the money to do so. So the progressive left took that and then raised it to a level that has never, you know, people call it about the McCarthy uh, um, era in the 1950s, the witch hunt against communists. Well, that was bad. It's not close to what's happening now. There is an entire industry of lawyers who advertise on television. Tell me your story. Come in. We won't charge you any money at all. Tell me who did bad stuff to you. And we'll go get them. And then I'll take a percentage of whatever I can extort from them. This is an industry where hundreds of thousands of attorneys are participating in this. Now, that's not to say there aren't bad people who should be held accountable in a court yeah. of law. There are. And they are legion. But you've got to have some kind of process where to defend yourself doesn't cost $500,000.
Well, That's and you what also it have costs. the cost. Yeah, well, and also the presumption of innocence, which, as you point out, was lost then well, and, I, and is lost now. In civil court, in civil court in the United States, that doesn't exist. Well, that's true. Fair enough. It's the preponderance of evidence. It's not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. That's criminal. In civil, here's the game, Leland, and it's so vicious. You want to destroy somebody and get money from that person. You go in to hire one of these sleazy lawyers. The lawyer says, how can you back this up? You say, I really can't back it up, but it happened. The lawyer says, don't you have a friend who you told this to way back when? Some of these things are 30, 40 years old. And the person goes, yeah, yeah, I, I think I have a friend. And all of a sudden, presto, a friend or two pop up and go, oh, Matilda told me this happened way back when. I remember it vividly. That's evidence? That was thrown out in a heartbeat. That's hearsay. and." I know this for a fact, people who participate in that kind of a con often get paid. Yeah, no, they do no, it. It, it. Well, well said. Um, I think about next year, we'll look back real quick. Uh, your predictions, Hunter Biden's uh, tax prediction, correct. Joe Biden autumn poll collapse, correct. You made that on uh, this network. Stock market rebound, correct. Uh, you were wrong about Taylor Swift, person of the year. Um, I'm not sure either you <laughs> or I are qualified to discuss Taylor Swift, but I, I've got to, I want to get you on 2024. Um, will it be Biden versus Trump? I don't think Biden's going to make it. Okay. All right. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that as a no. Yeah, there are, se there are serious problems behind the scenes with the president that the public does not know about. Um, uh, I can't all right, report uh, them. Yes or no, I, do, I got two more yes or no. Will Hunter Biden go okay. to jail in the next year? Almost has to because if Steve Bannon goes to jail, Hunter Biden has to go because they did the same thing. All right. Uh, exactly will Donald same. Trump be convicted of anything in 2024? I think he'll be convicted of the Mar-a-Lago stuff. Okay. And the Georgia thing, that could be, you know, problematic for Trump because it's a state thing. Yeah, and I who think knows? that that would get, yeah, in a federal court, the, the Georgia thing get thrown out. But the Mar-a-Lago thing, that could he could yeah. be and who knows, look, who knows what the Georgia no, thing whether they even nice. get a, a jury but before uh, November of 2024 last thing yeah. uh, you, a lot you, of pick, uncertainty. you pick pressing topics what is the next in the killing series that will be precedent for 2024 it's not a killing book it's a confronting book we're starting a new series it's called confronting the presidents no hmm. spin assessments from George Washington to Joe Biden all right. And the book will be out, uh, you know, it'll be out in September to the run up to the presidential vote. Confronting the presidents next year, killing the witches this year, Bill. It's good to see you as always. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, Leland. Thanks a lot for being a real pro. All By right. the way, your audience should know you're a real professional. And to everybody at News Nation, you know, I enjoy the season. Have a Merry Christmas and uh, Thanks for watching Leland and I. We need your uh, support here. <laughs> well, we're, we're in it together. Thank you. We'll see you in 2024. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.